Yeah, man, I think that, it, man, if we did anything anything around housing, bro. It, I mean, this city that's, that's has worked up need. about that. I mean, we I completely agree. Together. Together. You know, I, I had, agree. there was somebody um hit me up on the phone the other day, and I haven't talked to her in years. She was she just moved out here from Texas, and um, she said, I've never seen so many homeless people in the place. I was like, what? Dude, even when I moved to, like, when I would visit Colorado Springs from Boston, I was like, what, we're with all the homeless people here? Like, it's a lot, huh? Yeah. That's crazy, man. I, I didn't even realize, like, it just felt like, yeah, I didn't even pay attention. She's like, yo, y'all got a lot of homeless people here, man. So, yeah, man, I, I'm with that. We need to get that together, bro. And I think even, I mean, that's just, like, the tip of the iceberg, too. I think, like, people that don't have houses. Yeah. Beneath that is, like, the hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people who are, like, living in these cramped quarters because they're, like, living with, like, five different roommates. Although I remember when I was, like, 20 or whatever, 18, 19, 20, we lived in, like, a 600-square-foot house, three of us. <laughs> Just like, yeah. It was pretty cramped. Yeah. But a lot of people are living in, like, a lot of roommates in one house or working two jobs to pay their rent. or Like, you shouldn't have to do that. Right. You should. Yeah. Uh, I shared a post recently about the Simpsons, how the Simpsons used to be this sort of like average family, like trying to hold on to their middle class lifestyle. And this person's like, most people can't even live that lifestyle now. Like have one person working a job and live in a house, a house in the suburbs with two cars and pay, you know, mm -hmm. pay for three kids. That's impossible now. Mm -hmm. Who could do that? No. Not with a regular job. You can't. Nope. nope. Yeah, and if you do, it's like, oh shit, you did that, bro. Good job. Right, right. Yeah, that's, that's take like care of your money. Now. Yeah, yeah exactly. like take care of your money, yep. investing right, and you know what I'm saying, creating another income, doing something. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. that's that's nuts, man. Um, you know, every time, whenever I'm riding around the south side, I'm looking like, man, dude, if I just had some money to buy that, if I just had uh, a way to ask for the money to buy that, you know what I'm saying, something like. So I find myself like, man, I got like three or four different business plans, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe not full with the financial outlines and shit, but, like, I can, I can shit out four businesses right now, like, if, 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 <laughs> if I had the money, man. You know what I'm saying? I could the figure out. The problem is a lot of these things. Payroll God, the number of dollars. Like, you said a million dollars a month to build an apartment building? Oh. It would be tens of millions oh, of dollars. Yeah, way yeah. more than that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, like a small apartment building. <laughs> but all the, I mean, you know, I don't know, tens of millions, I don't know. I don't know. Like, You're when you right. look into these, it's, it's, like, huge amount. That's why you have to think more like, okay, the city. That's, I don't think it costs that much, bro. Because, like, you know, the thing, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I know it's more than what I probably can put a number on. Or, and I wouldn't even be accurate. But um, I saw this thing where they're selling trailers or they're renting trailers. And you can rent it for, like, $900 a month as long as it's, like, on the site where your job is at, where you're working from. So... You could rent a trailer for a business for nine hundred bucks. Oh yeah, I saw that. Like, why the hell don't? Why wouldn't they just make as many of them yeah. as they can and rent them shits to everybody? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Know, it doesn't yeah. make any damn sense that you would. That there's they got ways to make this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like in Korea, man. I'm telling you, dude. Like, they, they don't got that much more money than us. You know what I'm saying? Where they got? I mean, just it looked like thirty seven story buildings that are just, nothing but people in them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and it's like, well we ran, well, you know. We don't want to do that here for some reason. Well, I mean, I, I don't know if I want to do, I don't know if I necessarily want to do that, but I know that there's a way to do it. There and is there's a way, a way to, to, to fix it so we don't have homeless people all over the place. Right, right, right. Or, you know, where you've got to do something illegal to survive and then you, you know what I'm right, saying? Like, it's just yeah, the yeah, dumbest yeah, shit. Like, it doesn't make no sense. Stuff. If you could just take that off of people's plate where you don't have to work to have a warmer bed. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you can just have a warmer bed yeah. and a place to get your shit together at. You know what I'm saying? Of course, this ain't the best thing. You know what I'm saying? Right, Maybe, right, I don't right. know, whatever. And this is that theory, but the, the housing first. Housing first has been, like, proven to work. Basically, you give people a house <laughs> first. Like, they might be dealing with mental health issues or addiction issues or whatever. But the first thing you have to do is give them a house so they're stable and secure. And then you can start working on those other things. Because you can't start working on those other things if... Right. If you don't have a house, right? Like, think I'm. Tr I try to imagine, and I've like had moments where I didn't like, where I had to crash on people's couches and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, I think about like living on the streets and how incredibly stressful that would be. 
think of course you're going to develop addiction problems and mental health issues and then you're dealing with the cops like basically right like probably every few hours you're probably mm -hmm. having to deal with the cops or yeah. somebody like trying to harass you right. think about how many homeless people are murdered every year they you don't, don't just go and just like murder homeless people because yeah. it's like a fucking game or to them or whatever yeah. like that's a stressful lifestyle like taking people out of that situation is the easiest way to start dealing with any other situations yeah. that people might be dealing with yeah yeah I, it, it might will fix a lot man mm -hmm. yeah um yeah man i think that our, the school districts need to have a bigger role in what's happening socially here too you know what i'm saying like if you think about like our school districts here they have control like they control our minds our young people's minds you know what i'm saying and, you know they're not even considered or whatever yeah they're yeah. not even considered you know when we're talking like stuff with cops and the way that they're interacting yeah, with their kids about, and yeah, with the so parents yeah. of their kids and where their parents kids kids as parents are working at like all of that stuff is something that a school district can say yep yeah, that's our issue yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah that's something that we i need. guess it's time to run for school board yeah man well like look at texas they're basically like rewritten history books to have the, their weird version of history that Texas wants, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> like, where, oh, what was, I think it was Texas, where they referred to black people brought over from Africa as immigrants, like people that were brought over as slaves, they referred to them as immigrants. Oh, in, in, the, <laughs> in the textbooks. Are you serious? Well, like, that's shaping how people think about the world. Yeah, I think, like, like... Yo, did you hear that uh, in that stuff in North Carolina, man, did they... Uh, the state, city, and state workers don't get pensions or any benefits anymore. Like, no retirement, no benefit, no nothing. Their bed, their budget is all jacked up, and all the workers are getting from the city. Wow. Yeah, starting this year, starting January. I was like, oh man, North Carolina is a bad place, man. Oh, no, you lived there before, right? Yeah. yeah okay. It's a bad place. They're, they don't give a damn. Their schools. Bro, I'm gonna tell you, they rate a bunch of, I don't know why, I don't know what makes any sane person live anywhere in North Carolina with your kids. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really spent, I've driven through there, maybe stayed a night. Put your North kid Carolina, in the schools but. is ridiculous, man. And now that shit, man, that, man, hey, I, whoever lives it, y'all need to get up out of there, man. We were just ripping on North Carolina. Yeah. I'm always struck by how backwards North Carolina seems. I'm like, this seems yeah. more backwards than like Georgia or South Carolina. Yeah, we give in North Carolina. Oh yeah, it is, man. It, my bad. I was my bad. I was. Well, because I'm always like, oh, right the here. deeper south you go, the more backward. But oh, no, North nah, Carolina is this like. Oh, that's a country ass place, man. <laughs> yes, yeah, man, that's. Hey, and then you know, like I was scared in North Carolina driving around too, because I mean I, I was as a white person. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> that's what. <funny. laughs> so. You know, there's all the, the 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 freeways and the the highways and stuff. You know, like a little different over there. You know, so I, we you was talking to me about the East Coast and like how yeah, like oh, yeah, it industrialized over yeah. with cars or whatever. So anyway, out there, man, there's like little two lane roads that get you any all over the place. Right, right. Maybe not. Some of them might be on the map. Some of them might not right, be on right. the you know or not you know the Google, the the GPS Google, right, stuff. Right, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So anyway. At the time I was married, I was I was stationed at Fort Bragg, and my wife she would go like you know go around looking for stuff or whatever the stores and shit like this. Antique marts. Man, bro, she and she didn't think nothing. She was Nicaraguan, so she didn't think nothing about this southern whole aspect of this stuff going on. Driving through the woods, I mean, two lane highway in North Carolina, looking for a grocery store just by yourself. And I mean, in the middle, like there's like a little creek on the side, you know what I'm saying? Right, in the right, woods. Right. Bro, it was the scariest thing driving around, <laughs> trying to find stuff and like, you know, get to like, you know, another state or whatever on the side cut or whatever instead of using the interstate, man. Anyway, I know the people that's from there are probably laughing at me like, boy, you sound stupid, but I'm serious, man. I was yeah, I scared to drive around in the in the backwoods back there because you break down. You don't know what kind of, right. you know, I mean, maybe weird there's, like, so many food. movies we've seen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and I guess they made their movies for a reason, though. They made their movies for a reason. Yeah, it's speaking of movies, right. you heard, you saw that movie uh, Spike Lee just put out? I can't well, think of the that? name of it. Yeah. Dang it, man. I don't remember what it's not called a, now. Not not a, yeah, but you saw it, though? I have to say, though, I was a little <laughs> disappointed in Black Klansman. Yeah, 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 me too. A lot of me people too. were like, oh, my God, it's the greatest movie, but I said, nah. 
Yeah, me too. Everybody was just hyped because it was from the springs, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? True. But it wasn't. But they that didn't great. even shoot any of it here, which was another thing that annoyed yeah, me. Yeah, I didn't it. like that neither, man. Yeah. Like, but she, but he did come out. That's how he spiked. Yeah, he came and then he came and like sort of got a few like. Yeah, Spike uh, he came to came to Wall called. Street Eatery, yeah, man, and got cool. some damn got a fist plate or whatever, and then he came like he was um. I think he he was here in a something trying to view the CSPD's uh, uniforms, oh. and they didn't want him to. They're like, yo, this is horrible. This makes us look bad. Right? Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it, it looked like he he was able. He pulled it off. It looked like that was the right badges and stuff. So, but yeah, I, we got off track right there, man. Talking yeah, about that right. crazy stuff. But um, I you know, <laughs> no, go, oh, go no no you go ahead. I was gonna say so well, you you know it's coming up. What? The next few months we got to start the Black History about Program. This. Oh well, yes, the Black History. Oh program man, I meant to call D while thinking, we was on oh, that break, it. man. I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him on on uh, on Here. on the speakerphone D. in a minute. D. <laughs> yeah, let's. <laughs> Why see. isn't he watching? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. He should have been watching. But yeah, I call him on speakerphone. But um, what what else well, is coming I was up other than saying that? The, part of the way that we affect these is city council seats. Oh yeah, you they, know they, they, they April. They're, yeah, they're coming up in April, but uh, you got this month. People got to start filling out the forms. Yeah. So if people want to run for city council, so that they can start redirecting money from the police department towards things that actually matter. Right. It's like we got to start doing it. Got to do it, and man. Six of the nine seats are up are for up. grabs, bro. So that's a lot. That's like, a lot of. That's I'm not, like, like I'm not like the. the if type we got of all six, we're running the city. Yeah, like I'm not the type of person who's like, oh, electoral politics is going to fix everything. Yeah. That's going to make a big difference. Like I, I just gave that. Um, history of class struggle in Colorado presentation. Uh -huh. And one of the things that I realized was when there was a populist governor that didn't call out the state militia to shoot striking workers and instead decided to support striking workers, the striking workers actually won instead of getting mowed down by the police. police. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. So like, that's a, having, talk a, about a teaser. having an ally in, in government can be helpful for pushing forward right, social right. Right, you know? yeah, 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 or at yeah. least uh, like making sure you don't get gunned down yeah hell yeah man and, and trust me I think it'll get to that point yeah if you're out yeah. here in the street you're gonna get shot at yep yeah or man. At least well it did get to that point they were shooting they shot the girl in the face with the rubber bullet in the uh, you know what I'm saying this summer they, they were shooting people yeah exactly. I mean think about how many cities around the country with progressive city councils passed things that said you guys can't use so much force. Like, granted, it wasn't, like, to stop them completely, but right. it's nice to have a little breathing room. Yeah, yeah, there, like, like, hey, man, change. yeah, like, we don't got to worry about the police, like, literally trying to kill you yep. for raising your voice. Exactly. Your, yeah, man. But there, there are three of the city council seats that they're term limited out, so folks want to run. I mean, Don Knight's district and Andy Pico's district, District 1 and District 6, I don't, I don't know how he's going to run that. I don't, like, spend a lot of time in those parts of the city, yeah. I don't think. I don't but know. I'm Jill Gabler's district, District 5, she's term limited. And Hallelujah. That's... I, I made my <laughs> post already. I'm glad Jill uh, Gabler has I'm glad all of them. I'm glad them. But Jill Gabler, bro, I'm really glad she's gone, man. I'm I really was, glad she's about it. Were you at the city council meeting when she, like, got all that money for trees? Yeah. Like, instead of, so, uh, Avila was trying to get money for, um, an oversight committee of some sort, right? And and Gil Gabler's like, ah, can we just get some money for trees, please? Yeah. Uh, which look, I love trees. I'm Everybody a big loves trees. fan of trees. We all love trees, Jim. <laughs> but uh, ever since then, all I've noticed is the city's cutting down trees. They sure are too. They cut everywhere, down a lot bro. Of trees. Yeah, man. Like, and they're gonna have to the cut place. more too. Yeah, I, that, that, I hate politics and politicians like that. Politics. You know, politics, man. I hate that shit. And then. The thing with her, I'll never forget the day that she said, government works best yep. going slow while it's moving slowly yep. so that we can, whatever, we so can, we can so trick we can you maintain faster. our positions of power. Right, you know what I'm saying? I'll never forget her saying that, man. Yep, yep. And ever since then, I, like, I could care less if she's living or not, breathing or not, whatever. Get the hell on. So I hope you yeah, yeah, get yeah, the yeah. fuck up out of here, lady. She just, like, I think what's funny about her is she just wants Colorado Springs to be cool so bad. Like... But the bike kind of lanes cool. and yeah, the trees right. and the man, goats. She don't like this place, man. <laughs> I know. Oh, like, my God. Oh, man. Uh, Yo, there, there was another over. part. There was another eviction. Um, one, of these, one of these Christian organizations, it wasn't focused on the family, but they moved their national yeah. headquarters to Austin. Hallelujah. So, yeah, they got up out of here. Went to so, Austin, though, huh? Yeah, I know. I was like, yeah, oh, that's, 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 I think there's something weird. There's something, like, 
more to, to togetherness with this Austin, Colorado Springs thing, man. There's a lot of connections between Austin and Yeah, Colorado. I don't like it either. I don't um, really, I, I like Austin. I used to live there. I don't like them. I don't like the city governments cahooting with each other, uh, man. Right, like, right, they right, need right, to right. sit there. Do you think down. the city government of Colorado Springs and Austin are really like, yeah, yeah. I mean, Austin's pretty progressive. I, they would say this, well, no, I guess outsiders would say the Springs is progressive. I guess because of Denver, though. But I, is Austin really progressive? Yeah, it's pretty progressive, I think. I don't right. know. Anyway, I have friends yeah. that live in Austin. Maybe we should. Yeah, I don't trust them people, man. So anyway, <laughs> um, so they I, they they, they, re, they relined some yeah, of the districts too. Some of so the like districts. Hillside is now district. Yeah, five. it looks like Hillside's now. Imagine that. District, yeah. Huh, how did that happen? I would wonder if somebody can explain that shit. Yeah. So like, uh, silly ass. Just man. east of Hillside is District Three, like downtown. Yeah. And southwest. And then Hillside, there's like a little. Doink. Right, like let me just get this. That goes into District Five, and then you know, right next door, Kayland is still District Four. But uh, I don't know. That's I know a lot of people wanted to change District Four's boundaries though, because District Four is the most densely populated yeah. district, and so it was like the smallest, and right, they didn't feel like they were getting fair representation. But that means that I, I don't know. Somebody like Promise could run for Jill Gabler's old seat in District Five. Yeah. Just throw yeah. that out there. <laughs> I, I I don't know what Promise is gonna do. I know Promise, whatever Promise wanna do, he'll do he could do it. And the people got his back, man. So hopefully, man, because it that man he can take I think district I mean district five is like Boy, that's what we need, man. And what what we don't need is, you know, man, I, I we I don't know should we do this on air or not. <laughs> No, nah, I'll just wait, man. I, I think that d deciding who, um, I, it's not my decision. It's not for me or us to say, oh, this is who should yeah, be. Should, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm just this, throwing out there that I would support. No, yeah, I'm not talking about him, of um, course. I'm talking about, uh, I, there's people that's going to run in this city for yeah. these seats mm -hmm. that don't need to be up in there, man. That's true. And somebody's going to have to say it. That's true. And it, it's probably going to have to be me. <laughs> that's okay. You'll, you'll <laughs> I would say that, that ass. You'll carry I would say, that cross. Right, because I'm not the only one that's not that believes it. You know what I'm saying? For a lot, for a few folks that I, that we know are going to try to put their name in the hat or already have put their name in the hat. And man, it's just like, you know, but this, I don't know, man. I don't think it's divisive though, because it's, it's like it, it, there's there's two different things happening here. And it, what's happening where I'm at in, a, in our circle. Is different, and we're not dividing our our shit at all. Yeah. But speaking the truth about um, and making sure that, that you know whatever that yeah, I don't know, I don't know. If, and then it's like ah, I, I'm sort of seeing what you're getting at. Right. And then it's like yeah, you know, yeah. the, so already Everybody's like, what is he talking about? Yeah. Like already, the city doesn't vote. You know what I'm saying? People already don't vote. So, um, trying to like mobilize like. For the people to mobilize against a person, it's like weird. That's weird flex. You know what right. I'm saying? I don't know, man. It, it, I, I gotta understand how this whole city government po like politic thing works. I don't. I don't well, know. I've tried to figure out. We were talking about this recently at a DSA meeting. Like the first how, time, how could you win a city council seat in Colorado Springs, especially as a socialist? Because you know we don't. You don't run as a Democrat or Republican, but. Republicans tend to win right. parts of the yeah, city. Imagine, Most parts of the city. Imagine that. <laughs> and the Democrats win very few parts of the city. Yeah. But I was like, what is it? Yeah, why are people voting for particular people in the city? Because it's mm -hmm. not it's not like people there's not a ton of news coverage like the president, you know what I'm saying? Like you we, everybody knows what the president's doing all the time. There's tons of news coverage. But right. Most people don't know what city councilors are doing. They're right, because they're not most more like, likely not doing shit. Yeah, yeah. And there's not like you don't cover their votes. Like nobody's right looking at the the votes. Right. Like they did the this and they vote this way and they don't yeah. vote this way. Yeah. So yeah, like, what run. is it that like makes a successful city council run? I mean, part of me feels like it's just a matter of like who endorses you. Yeah. In cities, you know, like if the chamber of commerce endorses you, then you're gonna get these votes, you know. Right. Or if like. The League of Women Voters endorses you, you or you're going to get yeah, yeah. these votes. Right. You know, they're, they're signaling that's wack, for people. But I, I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, people that's that just vote my like theory. that. Yeah, I guess I would like if, if like DSA, uh, what's the word called? Endorse endorse somebody. Uh, really I'm like, oh yeah, I'm both yeah, for yeah, whoever yeah, they right, say right, that. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess sense. we all kind of we take those shortcuts. But this right. brings us to our, uh, not next point, but what we wanted to do over the next couple months is 
Like you are running for city government. Yeah. Holler at us, man. Come on on the show. We would yeah. love to have you on. And, and talk I, about what you want to do. Exactly. How you going to do it. Get that exposure. And then they can get the Just Cause endorsement. Right. I mean, probably not. I'm not endorsing anybody. Yeah, I was going to say, anybody, she, but... yeah, I'm not endorsing none of y'all ass. <laughs> There's only one person. I don't know, man. You know, that, that, so I, I got a strong feeling about the 4th District, man. And I, and I, I don't right. think there's really no reason for me not to say it. I, like, I, I don't know if you're holding out to say whatever, but I, I feel this way about it. I feel like there's no reason to split the 4th District. And there's the, like that's what will happen, right? Are you so, talking about splitting the progressive votes? The votes, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's no reason to to um, to take our whatever power away that we that we have cultivated and built up down here, you know what I'm saying? And we have a we have a, a I, listen, and I feel like I'm good to say this because everybody knows I went at Yolanda Avila hard, yeah. hard, 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 man. Like I don't think there was a bigger critic like publicly than me that I seen. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean, I was really bad with it because I felt like she needed that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what was needed at the time. So. That was like two years ago, and you know a lot of things have happened. A lot of things didn't happen, but though I believe that we have a that you, you, if Yolanda keeps the seat, man, we have a strong seat, you know, a person in that seat and a senior member in in the city council, especially with six or nine of them coming out. You know what I'm saying? Um, and she's like, like I think there's a learning curve to any right, job, right? And I right. think that she's. Higher on that learning curve, exactly. especially now, like figuring out how to do things. You know, right? What I'm yeah, like I, I feel like she there was there was two one or two ways that she could have went with the pressure that we gave her, um, and for the most part, you know, what I'm saying it, it, like she she was react like she reacted to it like she wanted to help the South Side. You know what I'm saying? Like there, she was there for the South Side. So anyway, that all being said, you know, I'm, she's a politician still. You know what I'm saying? So right. I get it. You know what I mean? But though. Um, I don't see a reason or a point in running against or having us pick who we're going to vote for on the South side um, when we can have a, a senior member and, and a, somebody who's who's a, like knows what the hell's going on up there already. You know what I'm saying? You put a new member in there with all this stuff that we're trying to get done and we're, we're going to get washed out. They're going to, you know, yeah, like I the mean, same the thing that happened to her, has, like, the same thing that happened to her when she could, my bad, I don't mean to cut no, you yeah, off, but no, when she could like, you know, they were having meetings without her and all of this, like, side crap that people don't even know that they were doing to Yolanda. That Yolanda might not even know that they were doing to her when she first started. Like, we're going to get to skip that. We can skip that yeah. part of it. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you yeah, so anyway, there's that. But then there's also, she had that whole time that she should have been doing and she wasn't. She wasted the time in the seat. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I get that argument. You know what I'm saying? But, though, here's what would happen. We'll run two or three people for the progressive vote. They'll run one, and that one person will. Yeah, win. I mean, in the the southeast, the district four. Yeah. Historically, has been you know like there's been a lot of conservatives that have been the counselors for that district. It's yeah. not that conservative of a, of a district, right? You know, and I think that there's a high probability that that's what's going to happen. You talking about for the four? Yeah, for the you're fourth so, district. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what. That there's a high probability that's what's going to happen. Is like some crazy right wing Weirdo. fundamentalist is going to win the seat because yeah. they're going to like bring out that because the there's a yeah man there, 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 there was a lot of Trump there was Trump flags being flown in k -Lane. you know what I'm yeah, saying that's like two were, right next door to each other yeah man I went I went on live and it was like threatening these people to take them flags out of this damn neighborhood they're gone, though. yeah they, they, they took them down yeah because I mean we didn't do nothing so seriously like they really did just respect it but I mean anyway Trust me, man. They could somebody on the right. They could run somebody on the fourth district, and you all of and all of us sit much. over here with these three candidates, and, and we split the vote down, and none of them even come. And that one person blow them all out the water. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, just be smart. What you thinking about? How you talking about? And you know, let, let again, let like let, come up and let's talk about it, man. And tell me why I'm wrong, and um, uh, you know how I need to be thinking or whatnot. You know, right. so I'm, I'm willing to listen to that and talk to it because because I'm telling you, man, I'm definitely gonna be outspoken about whoever's running for the fourth district yep. and I'm not cutting you no slack, man. So I'm really curious who's gonna run for district three. If Richard Scorman's gonna run that's my district. Yeah. If Richard Scorman's gonna run again or what's going on, he hasn't said. Because I don't want uh it's a weird district because it's downtown. I thought Richard was uh turned out. I guess he isn't. 
I thought he was too, but yeah. I guess he's not. Huh. Um, but he hasn't decided. I don't care, man. Richard Scorman owes a, a damn uh, oversight committee, man. Yeah, he does. I, I don't. If, if I don't care who runs, he don't need to run. I, you know. Like that dude is the master at like Jesus. it's like, okay, it's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Like yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't Everybody, count the number of balls not that many. You, 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 I don't, you know, He's really good at talking to you and be like, I understand here, man. before the first Sam and I stopped him on the way to the meeting last year or two that in September when people came after yeah. the bond was murdered. And he's like, Look, I get you, I agree, blah 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 yeah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, And man. he goes in there and like nothing. We nothing, got nothing dog, from nothing. Him. again. Like Bill Murray did that too. Over Bill and over Murray and over again, too. I've like, not I mean not a ton, but on several occasions talked to him personally or emailed him, and he's like, look, I get it, I get it, and yeah, then man. it's like he doesn't do anything. But you don't get it because you're like, just want me to shut up right now. Plus, he like, passed that. Uh, he was the sponsor of the ordinance to make it illegal for campers. Yeah. The, the homeless. Streets. The homeless. So I'm like, you don't have band. a like, you don't have a house. You're like, well, at least I have a camper. Yeah. I can go camp down in like that abandoned warehouse district near downtown mm-hmm. and not be harassed. But like, no, you can't. Nope, can't do that. Yeah. You can't go park on empty streets that nobody uses. Empty streets, man. Yeah, that, that, like literally. Yeah. Anyway, dude, I can't. I don't like that dude, man. I mean, he's a good enough person, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like when you talk to him, like he's probably a genuinely good dude or whatever. But. Whatever, man. I, I don't. I can't even really say that want... shit because he sees what's <laughs> happening on the on the south side. He and he is the pre- like you know. It was very easy for him yep. to. The reason why I say this, people that don't that don't know, the president of the of the board of the city council has the ability to to form his own uh, committee um, based around the, the oversight of the of the CSPD. And when we the stuff that that came about with this, what is it called, T flack or T whatever the hell, yeah, whatever their that. acronym is. Um, they crap, I think. Yeah, <laughs> whatever their acronym is, whatever. We weren't happy with the stuff that was in there and that they were, you know, that they agreed to and whatnot. How they were picking members and all of this shit. Um, so when they when they rejected our, our was it demands? I don't know what, what it was that? or whatever. We want to call them, they, we were demanding that. Uh, when they rejected them, we told Richard Scorman, hey man, you need to enact this presidential, whatever you want to call it, committee to, you know, be to run parallel with that with that board. So that way you got their board and you have a, another board of the of, you know, people from the community. He very easily could have done it. Well, they've been working with him on that for months, apparently. Who? The Austin group. Oh. And he decided he was like, no, I'm gonna oh. just go with because yeah, it was yeah, the yeah. Austin group that was like Yeah. Look, you could do that. I mean, mm-hmm. he, I think, was like, I could do this. Sort of like, got everybody's hopes up. Like, I could create a commission. Yeah. And then. But I'm not though. But I'm not. Going but I'm to not though, and I'm not gonna tell you why or nothing. I'm just gonna yeah. do this here. So yeah, he need to go. Who lives? Who, who but live my, on the west my, side? There's this one person. That my I know, concern um, is that he's. We're gonna get somebody worse though. You know what I'm saying? Because like the southwest part of the town isn't exactly like. Nah, yeah, it's not super progressive. Right, I yeah. mean, that's like you know. I feel like it's retired military officers. Yeah. Although that's also Northwest, but you know, down there, Broadmoor, Broadmoor Bluffs, and all those people aren't like going to be voting for Richard Scorman was like okay for them, I think, because mm-hmm. he was like a white business owner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was progressive, but he was also a business owner. So I'm, I mean, I don't. I'm worried about who would run in his place. Like, mm. I think. Um... I'm gonna look at the map. I think you should, John. Can't do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna. People keep tell, trying to get me to, but it's not gonna happen. I think you should, man. <laughs> okay, you run for. Oh wait, District Five now. <laughs> so I think our biggest cha- our biggest opportunity is District Five. I think yeah. we need to run somebody for. Who's running down there? Who's running in District Five, y'all? Tell us who's running. It's for four District people 5. watching. Um, Those four people have to know something. I think Sam should run for District 3. I think she would do it. Sam would be like, yo, uh, how about this? All the cops take a six-month sabbatical. <laughs> <laughs> All of you guys just leave for a minute. And then when they get we'll back, there you. won't be no police department. Nope. <laughs> you guys take your ass on a break. 
Yeah, man. Anyways, all right, dog. I think that's good, man. I, right. That's um I, that, that invitation for the yeah. Let's for the we're we're being serious. Yeah. Like we're gonna put this invitation out, and let's try and get some people run that are running to come talk and explain why they want to run. Yeah, Yolanda. Gonna do. Yolanda, we want you to come holler at us, man. I, we'll send you an email and stuff. And uh, Regina English, of course, is um running and um. Uh, Richard Scorbin. Yeah, Richard. Maybe bring, you can come on ass. and disagree with us and explain. Hell no, he ain't. Y'all know yay. All right, man. Hey, we'll, we'll edit Thanks this up, everybody. man, and get this thing up online, man. We appreciate y'all. Hope y'all like the little placard. Thanks, oh, Gloria. Yeah. Gloria got that, got that a couple months ago. I, I knew it was going to look good. I'm looking at yeah. the live feed. It looks good, man. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> look at that. All right, then. All right, man. We're going to get in the mix. Right. Quan. Right. I don't know if you're still listening or not, man. I'm going to be in the mix. Wait, she's, yeah. Well, uh, everybody in North Carolina. Turned yeah, I know. They probably like, man, what the hell is these people talking about? <laughs> all right, then. Hey, I love y'all, man. We'll holler at y'all. Just call. Yeah.